You can learn to see past, beyond, endpoints if you become sensitive to their approach. This itself is key in the concept of the dying and surviving of the self of who you actually are. Here are some means of heightening your transition sensitivity, your awareness of, the approach of recycle options, the right time to close a cycle and open a new one. You can enhance your navigation of your transitions to new cycle patterns as you become more sensitive to the subtle inputs you give yourself as you get ready to let a part of your life die. Pay attention to very quiet hints, murmurs in your mind that you would normally have missed or totally ignored. Constantly inform yourself of your place on your life path. Close your eyes. Go inside. Where are you? Who are you? What are you? Come face to face with you, with who you are. Listen and you will hear what you are telling yourself. Ask quietly, what am I telling myself? Don't force it. Just calmly and repeatedly practice this listening and your inner voice will become more distinct. Map your life. Look for simple cycles and for phases and forks. Can you map any of your living endings, deaths, all being transitions? How about the roads leading up to those transitions? Always check to see where you stand on your life path. Do you feel unsettled? Is a pattern shift, a cycle exit, or cycle fork approaching or already underfoot? Notice where you are and how you feel. Find yourself in the process of in life and even beyond life living and dying and surviving. Always remember that a pattern or cycle ending or death does not mean that everything there is gone. You can preserve what is healthy for you to preserve and amend what is best amended. Become hypersensitive to your state of mind. See that when you need to shift, your mind moves ahead of you, living at the fork in the road subconsciously before doing so consciously. So notice even slight shifts in your ability to concentrate on your present situation. You may have already left it in some ways. As you approach a fork, a choice point, an opening, your energy fluctuates more and more profoundly. So notice even slight changes in your enthusiasm. You know when you are trapped in a life paradox even if you do not want to admit it to yourself. So notice when you feel even slightly claustrophobic or even trapped physically, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually. Sometimes you make a hidden trap visible to yourself through visible behaviors. So notice if you are regularly exhibiting troubled behavior, which is detrimental to yourself or to others. Many beings deal with their desire to avoid dealing with the need to let a cycle die by turning off. So notice to what degree you function on automatic, that is, mindlessly. Meaning in life appears different, may even intensify at recycle points, or the clarity of the meaning may become muddled at choice points. So notice how you respond when you stop for a moment's reflection and ask yourself, who am I and why am I here? Do you ask yourself questions about these things and about your life, yourself in general? What answers do you hear? Find a safe way to explore your responses to such questions. Why are you here? Is this phase of your life still a rich experience? Or have you stayed in this state of mind too long? Is it time to stay in this phase? Or time to add to or alter this phase? Or time to move into a new phase, a new state of mind, to die and survive? 